Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest video that will show you how you can quickly, easily, in a matter of a minute, create a first person view for your UEFN project or Fortnite Creative project using Orbital Camera system and a few tweaks that will basically set your Fortnite Creative experience into first person view. Now, this has been around for some time and it's been something that people have been asking for across the Fortnite Creative or UEFN ecosystem. The developers now allowed for it. So let's see how you can do that in a really effective manner. In your content browser under Fortnite All, so you're looking for all assets and devices, search for Orbit. Once you do, you should get Orbit, camera Orbit that you're going to use for the same purpose and set it inside of your level. So here it is, camera Orbit, a gameplay camera that follows the target and can be manually rotated. I'm going to set it up in my level, like I did here. And already you see the first issue, I'm betting that a lot of you who try this, on the first glance, got the same problem that's quite confusing the camera is now offset in a really weird manner but we're going to fix that really quickly and we're going to set up the camera as we wanted to so first things first we're going to go into the general elements of the camera and here find the camera factors that we're going to edit first of all we're going to set the field of view to max so it's uh, 100 and 20 degrees second we're going to set the distance to zero meaning that it's right in the player we're going to offset x to 40 we're going to offset y to zero and we're going to go for the offset z and set it to 70 now we have our basic camera elements we could also set it or limit the amount of movement that the camera would be able to create but we're not going to do that for this test instead we're going to solve this issue of a camera that is basically looking the wrong way to do that here in details as you can see the camera orbit has a lot of elements anyone who's using unreal engine probably can recognize these you're going to click only on camera and here we're going to rotate it so to do that simply press E on your keyboard rotate the camera like this and now we're going to change its position as you can see we can set it up like here and here it's basically going through the body to get that general sense we could also rotate it a bit like this to get that general sense of first person perspective. Now we're going to save and we're going to check it out in the game itself. I'm going to go for start game. It's going to sync and let's see how it looks like. And here we are. It looks pretty cool. Also, we added it immediately to the player in the start. As you can see, it kind of escapes the same location. But let's see how the weapon looks like. We're going to pick it up. We're going to set it up here. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. We used, used up all the ammo. However, the same shotgun is present. It's kind of having issues with the model when I go to the zoom option, but the first person view, first person perspective is there. We would probably need to edit the camera boom a bit so we don't get this weird lag and the lag factor, of course, but all the way besides that, everything is working now there are a lot of other options that you can use change however the important one is that 
for the same camera you want to keep this option of add to player on start otherwise you will have to manually add it to the player through a trigger a switch or other device but there you have it through this process you can set up your first person view in uefn and fortnite creative it functions basically in the same manner in fortnite creative 0.1.0 and hopefully you found this video useful if you did please consider subscribing you can support me through patreon where you can become my patron supporter you can buy my books on amazon that's also pretty cool for me but the simplest cheapest and easiest ways to support my content is to subscribe and be here for my new videos that's all for me my name is Ivica thank you so much for watching and have loads of fun in your UEFN projects until my next video bye bye